guys and girls. It is Friday morning, February 5th. I forgot my GoPro today, but I have my iPhone here. So I'm not sure if the video is going to look any differently, but I had four orders, four pretty good orders. I'm going to show you those and then I have to get out of here. I have to pick up a pair of free New Balance sneakers and then head to uh, a Savers or two and maybe a Goodwill today as well as some other stuff. So let's get started on the orders. Okay, first up is JJ1. This just got put up yesterday, and yes, it's another Wii Sports. If you remember last week, I sold two of these. This is my last one, and I paid about a dollar, dollar fifty for this, and this sold for twenty four ninety nine free shipping. And then we have a vest, and I don't remember how it is. This right here is a North End puffer vest with the Mountain Dew logo on it. I picked this up at, I think I got this at Salvation Army, right around eight bucks, and it sold for $31.99 plus shipping. We got C3, this is something I just put up yesterday. You may remember these from the last video. These are Dansco Breast Cancer Awareness. Uh, I guess they're called clogs, uh, mostly nurses wear these. If you remember, I paid up on these. I paid about $15 for these at Salvation Army. I thought it was worth a shot, and they sold for $39.99 plus shipping, with 10% of the sale going to the Susan G. Komen, uh charity for breast cancer. So thank you to whoever bought that. Okay, then we have a Wii system, and I think it's this one. I want to make sure. I know it has three games. Yep, this is it. It's got uh, three games, Blazing Angels, Call of Duty 3, and Call of Duty World at War. Uh, it has the box, it has the whole system in there. It has two controllers, two nunchucks, a sensor bar, manuals, the power, and everything. Everything's in there that you need to get going with this. Um, this is probably, I think I pieced this together. So all in all, I probably have 40 bucks into this, and this sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Hey, welcome back. It is still Friday. It is a little after two o'clock. Uh, I managed to get to a Goodwill where I bought nothing. And then I went to a Savers and bought a pretty good amount of stuff I'm going to show you right now. I also picked up something free that I'm going to show you. Um, I use these apps that pretty much in your area, people are giving stuff away for free. There's plenty of apps that do that. And you can contact me through there and just go pick the stuff up and sell them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you that first. All right, so this is what I picked up for free. Obviously, there's a pair of them, but I'll just show you the one. It's a New Balance Response 1.0 sneakers. They look like they've barely been worn. Comps on this on eBay, I'm thinking probably at around 25 bucks for these. And like I said, didn't pay a dime for these. There are apps. Uh, one of them is called Free Freebie Alerts or something like that. I can't remember the exact. Uh, my, my phone's over there charging right now. I would look for you. And there's also that uh, used to be called Let let it go or let go but they changed the name of it and i don't remember what the name change is but those are just a couple of apps that you can use to find free stuff in your area to sell all right moving on savers so i had 20 percent off so there was four of these this is not one one glass for uh 749 so with the 20 percent off i paid uh just around six bucks for a set of four these are vintage, I believe in 1960s, and I can't remember the name, but there is a name associated with them. Uh, four of them should bring about $20, maybe even a little bit more than that. This right here I took a chance on, like for $5.80, it's Pieta, Pieta, and it's it's very heavy. It's not, it's not like it's hollow. This is a solid piece, and I saw prices on this varying from anywhere from like $100 bucks down to, you know, $15, $20. So I got to do a little bit more research, but I thought it was uh, worth taking a chance on just to buy this and see what I can get out of it. This is a an America Wear for a dollar fifty or so. America Wear California raised glass uh, mug, I should say. The comps on this are right around twelve to fifteen bucks. All right, so this I took a chance on. This is an eight XL Milwaukee leather performance apparel original leather vest. Most likely for uh, bikers. And I paid uh, with the 20% off, I don't know, 14 change. But these are selling on eBay, not in this size. I didn't find anything, anything this big, but there are a lot of big guys that ride bikes. So uh, I took a chance on this. And the other ones at smaller sizes were selling, you know, anywhere from 50 to 150 bucks. 
So we'll see what we get. And for about 250, these are tabletops gallery mugs. A set of two of these should probably bring probably about fifteen dollars or so. Still sealed Quirkle board game. I've never heard of it. It cost me just about five bucks. Anytime I see games that are still in the wrapping, I always check to see what they sell for new. And this one looks like I should be able to get about twenty dollars out of it. And the last thing is this Brookstone Shiatsu Sport Cordless Body Massager. I did plug it in in the store and turned it on and it was working or everything was moving. Everything seemed good. Uh, I didn't find this exact model on eBay, but I, I found Brookstone massagers going for like 60 to 80 bucks used. So I'm thinking anywhere from, I don't know, 30 to even 60 or 70. Uh, I don't remember what I paid. I think I paid about 10 bucks for this. So that's it for today. Uh, I did have one new order while I was out. I'm going to try to get to it tomorrow on Saturday. If I get more, if not, it's going to wait till Monday, most likely. But I'm going to get to work here in the studio, and I'll see you in the next segment. I forgot one thing. I want to see if any of you guys out there can help me. Um, I may end up keeping this if nobody knows the answer to this question. But those in the last video you saw, I bought maybe two videos ago, I bought a bunch of hats. This is one of them. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out if this is a minor league team, a low-level pro team, some kind of college, small college. It looks like a worm is inside of an apple riding a hot rod. It's from New Era. It's a 5950. And I did email New Era about it and sent them a picture. And unfortunately, they shut down a division that identifies their old hats. So I guess because that division is shut, nobody in the, at New Era can even take a look at this and figure it out on their own. Try to see if you guys know what this hat is. Here it is again. It may be nothing. But I'd like to know. If it's nothing, I'll probably keep it because it's kind of cool. But if it's got some value, I want to sell it. So it's actually Friday night. Um, I'm back at the eBay space. Uh, came here to have dinner. As you know, this is my parents' basement. Came here to have dinner and watch the Bruins game tonight. And I did have an order, so I figured I'm here. Show you what that is. Get it packaged up and get it sent out tomorrow. And it's in A8, and it was something I just put up the other day this is actually a pretty cool buffalo bills hat from 5950 new era uh size seven and five eights i got this on that big hat buy last week paid about three bucks for this and this sold for 35 dollars plus shipping it is monday morning uh february 8th it is the day after the super bowl there you go that's all you need to see and that's all you need to see and yes, I am a Patriots fan, but I'm also a Tom Brady fan. If there was any question before last night on who's the greatest to ever play, I mean, it really was. It, it was locked up five years ago. I swear to God, if I hear anybody even comparing anybody else to him, I'm going to go crazy. Just giving you a, a heads up. So with that said, very, very, very slow weekend for eBay sales. Not sure what was going on. Uh, I did request eBay to refresh my store because sometimes that that helps it whatever it does i don't know they did that i did a 25 percent off promotion on a bunch of items and we i did have a couple of sales from that but i only had four sales since friday morning through the whole weekend so i don't know if it was super bowl weekend but uh, hopefully things pick up this week so let's get to that i'll show you that and i'm going to do some listing and then i'm heading out of here first up is an aa4 We have in the 1992-93 NHL Hockey Player Cards from Pinnacle. Uh, there's a bunch of unopened packs in here. The box is a little damaged. I'm going to tape that. But unopened. I can't remember how many packs. I know it's, it wasn't a completely full box. I got that from the storage unit way back in like, you know, maybe June. So I probably have a quarter, 50 cents into it. And that ended up selling for $22.49 plus shipping. And we have E8. This should be it right here. Yes. This is a Discovery Kids 360 animated Safari night light lamp. It comes alive in motion. It works. Tested it. Pretty sure I got this at Savers a couple of months back for about five or six bucks. I think that was on, I'm checking right here. Uh, yeah, that was on 25% of promotion and ended up selling for $16.49 plus shipping. C4, and that's it right there. 
This is a big and heavy book. It is The World of Curia and Ives by King Davis. Got that at a yard sale over the summer. I think it was part of a bundle buy, so I probably have a dollar or two into it. That was also on 25% off promotion, and it sold for $9.74 plus shipping. And we're back to the AA, but this is AA1. Just Dance 4 for the Wii. I just put this up uh, last week. Paid a dollar for this, and this ended up selling for $9.99 plus shipping. Hey, eBay land. It is Tuesday morning, February 9th. That's all I can say. Tom Brady the GOAT. Uh, I got only had four orders. It's been really slow lately. Not sure what's going on, like I said previously. Um, but at least it was four and not two, like yesterday. So let's get to those, and then I'm going to do a little listing as much as I can. I uh, kind of threw my back out this morning, so I don't know how much I'm going to get done. And then I'm going to get out of here. So let's get started. Okay, first up is a pair of pants. It should be on here somewhere. Yep. These right here are a pair of R&R &R Request Men's Classic Street Jeans. Black shiny studded denim. 3634. Rock and Republic. That's what it stands for. These were actually mine. I had sold another pair of jeans like this uh, probably about a month ago. And this was on 25% off promotion and ended up selling for $15 plus shipping. And then we have E7. This is the board game Pente. I don't know if that's how you say it. Classic game of skill from Pocket Brothers. Uh, this was on 25% off as well. Pretty sure I got this at Savers for a couple of bucks a while ago. And this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, then I'm not sure where this one is. And we have C3. It's right here on the top. This is a recent purchase. This is a PlayStation 102 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue video game. I paid a dollar for this. I think I got this at Goodwill. Might have been $1.99. But this sold for $19.99 free shipping. We have FF3. This is a men's Peloton t-shirt. Uh, I got this at Salvation Army for I think right around $4, maybe 5 I think it was 4 And that sold with 25% uh, off promotion and it sold for $14.24 plus shipping. Hey guys and girls, it's uh, Wednesday morning, February 10th. Another slow day, only one order and I actually came in this morning so I had no orders yesterday. Again, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just a slow period right now. I got a few ideas to try to jumpstart this whole thing that I'm going to check out probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to actually do it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but if I do it, you'll see it in the video or one of these videos. But let's get to the one order and then uh, I got to get back home. I might do a little listing, but I got to get back home. I got the fence guys at my house working today. So let's get started. All right. So the only order is this right here. This is a Pioneer Audio Digital Timer DT550. Uh, this I bought at that unexpected pick a few Fridays back. I, think I paid about, like I said, ten dollars for each piece. I've already sold uh, at least two of the pieces. This actually, this might be the last one. I'm not sure. I haven't looked. But this was on 25% off promotion, and it ended up selling for 37.49 plus shipping. It's Thursday, February 11th. Welcome back to the land of eBay selling. Uh, it hasn't been a fun land the last week or so. Only had one order again, which I'm going to show you. Uh, today, as I mentioned previously, I may be going to check out some pallets of like either Amazon or Target or whatever, overstock stuff, returns, uh, just to see if there's any money to be made there. They usually sell the pallets around anywhere from three to $600 each. Some of them are like seven feet tall. So I'm going to go check those out and uh, take a good look at to, as to what's on the pallets and look up prices and see if it's worth purchasing one putting that stuff on ebay but let's get started on the order and we'll go from there all right this is something i just put up c4 here it is that's it it is a dunkin donuts black 16 ounce speckle hot cold travel tumbler uh as usual i got this from savers for around two bucks and this sold for 12.99 plus shipping uh, so before I leave here, I'm actually going to do a little more listing. I listed a bunch of Matchbox, Corgi, Hot Wheels, and a couple other like little diecast car pieces yesterday. I'm going to probably continue on that. I got a few more um, that I want to put up individually. So if you're into that stuff, take a look at the store. 
and then I might do another lot of just ones that are worth, you know, like five, five to ten bucks each, not worth really worth um putting up on their own. Everything else that I'm putting individually are, you know, at least ten dollars for the most part. So if you're into that kind of thing, you collect or whatever, take a look at the store. The stuff's up there. Okay, I was uh doing some listing as usual. I got another order, so I'll show you that. It's actually right up here in this box. This got returned a while ago because it was missing a piece that I didn't realize it was missing. So that is now in the description. This is uh, the wooden box version of Stratego, the classic game. And I had marked this down because of the missing piece and this sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Hey gang, it's still uh, Thursday. It's about 2.30 and I just got back from the liquidation pallet place. I was pretty cool in there, uh, a lot of pallets, but a lot of pallets that had big boxes on them uh, with like one piece in the box, like a piece of furniture or a big lamp or something. And they were always getting new pallets, so I'm going to have to keep going back maybe once a week to check it out. But it was a good experience going in there the first time to see what they had. And I got to know a couple of the people that worked there, uh, told them what I do. And um, I, I was almost not going to buy anything, but then uh, the lady that was working the front desk... Uh, mentioned cell phone cases they had a, a bin full of them so she took me over to them now normally you can't touch any of this stuff when they're on the palace they don't want you digging through anything you know, in case something's sharp in there uh, but she let me look through this and i'll show it to you because i did buy it got a bunch of uh cell phone cases there's a disney one actually it's an otter box which is pretty cool most of it is a uh, spec and there's some ipad cases in here too all this stuff is brand new it was all as you can see it was clearance stuff from stores like target and everything actually there's more than a few uh, ipad cases in here ended up getting a pretty good deal on it i just kind of wanted to buy it um mainly because it's number one it's easy to list this stuff number two it's easy to ship this stuff number three that there's like no weight on this stuff and there's about a hundred pieces here, so I'm not gonna make a crazy amount of money on this, but I think it's a good um, starting point at a place like that for me, you know, buying in bulk and to try to get this stuff sold. It's gonna take a while to sell this stuff, probably months to get rid of all of this, but I think I, I should do okay. I'm not gonna lose any money, but like I said, I'm not gonna make a ton of money on it. So if anybody's looking for a phone case, there's all different sizes and colors and styles, and there's even a, uh, one of those invisible shield uh, screen protectors here too. So for a Galaxy Note 10, I got. I haven't gone through the whole box. They counted them up. That's it. I just go back and starting tomorrow when I get to the eBay space, hopefully I have an order or two. I'm gonna start listing these things. So that's what I did today. See you soon. So it's Friday morning. Uh, I was supposed to shoot this yesterday. This is the end of this video. So again, thanks for the support. Like, subscribe, share. Let your friends know about this. If you see an item that I bought that you might be interested in, hit me up. We can work something out, but I will see you on the next video next week. Thanks.